All right, so don't mind my little art there. It's uh, deflated foam already because uh, this has been sitting out. I tried to take some pictures earlier. Uh, but I am going to teach you a quick little way, quick little trick to uh, create that heart in your latte, in your cappuccino. Hopefully, um, brighten up somebody's day. Maybe make that little extra effort on a Valentine's Day, your birthday, an anniversary. Go those, uh, get a few extra brownie points in there. Simple to do, but uh, you'd be surprised at the results. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually quite simple. But uh, when you see how simple it is, don't click off on this video right away because um, uh, there are a few pro tips along the way that are going to um, help you go that extra mile and score even more brownie points. So stick a while, stick around, and um, for, for till the end, um, let's get to it. I'm going to. Um, I've already taken the liberty of heating up some milk. I try to start frothing it already. You can you can froth your milk. Um, any way you like. I'm using a hand frother. Uh, for those of you not familiar with a hand frother, this is the Aero Latte. Um, if you've never seen one, I got a link below. But I also have a video I made a long time ago on how to use one of these. It's very simple, very quick. Uh, you can travel with it. And good for using it in espresso machines like I have, where you don't have a traditional espresso machine that creates the extra steam to create the froth. If you do have one of those, Works. This little uh, heart trick works just as well. And there we go, got some good fra. Make it stiff enough so that we have time to make our heart. Alright, let's do this. Alright, the heart part is actually pretty simple. This is going to be a throwback to your youth. Um, you want to get a piece of paper that is as at least uh, the width of your cup. This is one of those sticky yellow things, so it actually, I'll show you why, but it helps. It's got a little sticky part over here. Take a piece of paper, and fold it in half. We're going to draw our heart, and for those of you that think that you're going to be able to freehand this, you don't need to, I, I've tried that, you might be better at cutting than me, but um, not that easy. And I've also found that a bigger heart helps, and this may be too small, but we'll see. And just take our scissors, oops, have a heart, cut this out. I'm going to go a little wide because I think I made it a little bit small to begin with. And pro tip number one, don't throw this little beauty away because you can now present this with your, whoop, you can now present this with your cappuccino or latte right on the side. Save that for later. This is going to score you those extra bonus points. That's just pro tip number one. <laughs> they get better, don't worry. Okay, now we've got our little cutout here. Note that this is the sticky side. Now this is why I was saying that it actually helps. Because we're going to lay this over and this actually sticks. Now you want this to be firm. If it's not firm, that's going to create a problem. Another little thing to note, uh, you want to not use a big bottle like this. Why? Because look at the size of these holes. And here's a smaller bottle. These holes are much finer and that helps because one thing that I've learned in doing this, it's uh, you actually want a light coating. You don't want to be dumping it down in there. Um, and with the larger ones, it's harder to do that, harder to get the right consistency. You're just tapping over it. And not the perfect heart, but I think you get the idea now. This, you're going to carefully remove this, but, oops, and you're going to dump this in the, you're going to dump that, but try to get this off. 
don't throw this away. Pro tip number three, or four, I don't know what we're up to, but you can conveniently leave this around the kitchen uh, so that your loved one remembers all day. They don't just forget after they drink in their cappuccino or latte. Uh, the nice thing that you did for them. Yeah, it's a little childish, but it works. Anyway, not the perfect art, but you get it. Now, if you did screw up like me and you get a little around the edges, just take a little paper towel and kind of clean that up, blot it if you want it to be perfect. And there you go. It looks easier than it is, and that's why I suggest you practice once or twice. Uh, getting your cutouts, as you can see, I've done it a few times and my heart's still not perfect, but... Uh, and one little last tip, if you need to, and in this case, like, you want to make that little card, you need to adjust, take a little tiny spoon and make a little cut there. And you can get kind of creative, fix it a little bit. All right, there you go. I guess the idea. Now, if you're using a um, espresso machine like I am, or even a regular, uh, I'm sorry, an espresso machine like I am, or at a regular espresso machine, you should be able to uh, get your coffee right in there without disturbing it. I will demonstrate that. Although mine's not on. And you get the idea. Um, is this a little cheesy? It sure is, but you know what? Cheesy stuff works. <laughs> as sad as that sounds, that without disturbing your heart. Put that next to them on a nice tray. You're good to go. Alright, well, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe down below, and I thank you for joining me.